Presenting information to students is one way that you can use Prezi effectively in your class. Um, forgive me, I'm going to go to the actual Prezi so that you can see it. There we go. And I'm going to make this full screen. Okay, so this is my Prezi on um, Greek theater and the edifice myth for Antigone. And so as I would go through, I presented this on um, with a projector, and I was talking over the top of this presentation. So I started with a mask so that they got to see what Greek theater masks look like. And then I said, all right, this is Antigone by Sophocles. I won't do the whole thing. I'll go through very quick. But you can see how it's very, very um, visually stimulating, and there's a lot of good movement. So I talk about outdoor theaters. I show a picture. Oh, you can't see that one. Um, they play competitions. Um, and these are all the different things that I'm talking about. Now, I don't put every word that I say under the Prezi, um, but this is just a guide for me to go through and talk about, in this part, Greek theater. Okay? And these are the important things that I want my students to know. It's been a while since I've done this one. I want to get to the next part where you can see that that place pops out. And then it'll go back out. So all of this is about Greek theater. And then I pull back out and I say, all right, that was Greek theater. Now on to the Oedipus myth. Okay, and then I go through that. I'm going to go backwards so that you can see. Um, this is actually the mask around the outside here. And so this is the inside with the Oedipus myth. And you can see once you get close that there's a whole bunch of other pieces of information. Okay, and so I go through the Oedipus myth with them, and then I do um, the actual story of Antigone. And so from this, um, you can see that students really get into it. Um, I play around a little bit and go back to Antigone, and I have a picture of her as a teenager, and they're excited um, to see Antigone as a teenager. Um, so that's all the characterization of Antigone down here. Um, but it's, it's very easy for Prezi to create a presentation that separates things into pieces. So if I was going to outline um, this presentation that I did, or if I wanted my students to do that, um, clearly here's their title, um, this is number one, here's number two, here's number three, and then all the details that follow. So if I wanted students to be able to summarize, I'd say, all right, tell me what you remember about Greek theater, tell me what you remember about the Oedipus myth, all right, tell me what you remember about the character of Antigone. And that is using Prezi to present information to students.